Okay, we are going to proceed now with our campus travel assignment. If we look at it, uh, we have we just installed WordPress uh, from scratch, and now we're going to uh, go into part one and uh, create these pages because we just uh, installed WordPress. There's nothing there, so let's go to our WordPress here and uh, let's log into the admin. And here we are. My login is, and my password is login. And this is our dashboard. And we're going to, uh, if we look back on our website, we can just click up here. We see this is our website. Uh, let's go back to the dashboard and let's just start installing these pages. Uh, we have campus travel, database tables, add sales, search sales, search results, update sale, add agent, and agent bookings. So we'll go back here. Uh, we're going to click on pages. We're in the pages section, not, not uh, posts. And uh, let's just add a new page. And let's call it campus travel. And I'm just going to put something here. Let me dismiss this. I'm going to switch over to text mode here. Uh, welcome to the campus travel company intranet. And I'm going to publish this page. And we can view it. And it looks like this. Campus travel welcome. Okay, so let's uh, continue on. You can just add new pages by going up here and uh, new page. Make sure you select page. And let's add database tables. And it's not necessary that we put anything in the content section. Publish. And let's uh, add another new page called add sale publish publish and uh, let's add new and search sales Search results. When you do a search, you have a search results page. I have to click this twice because I'm not entering in any content. Update sale. And next is add agent. This is a new page for this assignment. And the last page we need is agent bookings. Okay, uh, one thing I'd like you to notice here is look at the page ID, the permalink page ID, we're going to change that so the page addresses uh, look a little bit more like page content. So anyway, so uh, what now we can go back to our website. Uh, we've got all the pages. Let's view this page. And uh, we don't really have a record of the page. Uh, but anyway, this is the agent bookings page. When we go back to uh, the main website, which we can do by clicking here, we see it just looks like this. And so the second thing we'd like to do is we'd like to set the home page to be our campus travel page. So to do that, uh, click and go back to the dashboard and scroll down and roll your mouse over appearance and uh, click customize. 
And here, let's down here where it says static front page, click down on that. And we're going to click on static page. And this selection drops down, and we're going to select our static homepage to be campus travel. And uh, that's really all we need to do. And we see there's it, it uh, shows what it's going to look like here. And so we can just save this and close this. And now when we go back to our website, up here we see that the campus travel page is the home page. All right, if we go back to our assignment and see we've done the first two steps, let's look at step three. And we're going to uh, add a WordPress menu and we're going to make it so it looks like this. Uh, you may have some other pages here and those will go uh, after the campus travel, which is going to be single menu line item with uh, these uh, five submenus. So to do that, we are going to uh, roll the mouse over here and we can actually go directly to menus. And we don't currently have a menu, so uh, let's create one. Let's name it Menu 1. That's a perfectly good name. Create Menu. And let's see. So over here we have all of our pages. And uh, I'm going to add, uh, we click on them here. We want the Campus Travel page. And we want the Add Agent and agent bookings and uh, add sale and search sales and we also want database tables we do not need search results in our menu and we do not need update sale on our menu uh, you reach the search results page by doing a search and uh, you reach the update sale page uh, from a link on the search results page from the date link. So we're going to leave those. Uh, click Add to Menu. And we see now they all appear over here. Now I have to arrange these the way I like them, the way I want them. So I'm going to put this on top. And then I'm going to make this one be second, but I'm going to indent it. And this one I'm going to indent. Uh, search sales can be, uh, I'll put add sale above, indented. Search sales indented. And database tables here also. Uh, just to, uh, for demonstration, I'm going to put a second menu item here. Um, for, uh, I'm going to perhaps, uh, let's see, let's add a link to our WordPress login. So we can get at it. And I'm also going to add a link to my cPanel to make it easier for me to get to. And I think I'm going to. Uh, Indent this. Okay, so now we've got a nice menu there. Let's click Save Menu. And before it becomes active, notice now we've got a Manage Locations tab up here. Let's click on that. And uh, we need to uh, select a menu. Let's uh, let's select Menu One. I don't know where this other one appears. Let's select it. select Menu One for both of them. We can see where they show up and now when we go back to our website we see on the left here we've got the campus travel drop down and these are our four pages and uh, we've got a wordpress menu here see that. okay so that's great that looks like we, we, we've done step three now for step four we have to name uh, static name page addresses. When we look at these pages, so uh, let's go to like, for example, agent bookings. Notice the page up here is, is not, it's got page ID equals 18. 
when we go to search sales, we see it's page ID equals 10. We want more human friendly names. So to do that, we uh, go to permalinks. We can just go back to our dashboard and we can scroll our mouse down to the bottom here over settings. And we see the very bottom selection here is permalinks. Let's click on that. And uh, we see the current configuration is with the page ID. Let's scroll down and click post name and then click save changes. And now when we look at our website uh, and we select a page, we notice now the page name appears much more human friendly. It's a lot easier to understand. So we're done with step four. The last thing we're going to do is you notice that there are comments uh, down below on all these pages. I haven't shown you, but see this, this leave a comment. Uh, on, on all these pages, we've got that comment section, and uh, we want to get rid of that. So, uh, let me first show you how to get rid of it uh, on each page one by one. Click on Edit Page, and we scroll down here, and we see there's no there's normally a checkbox down here which allows us to remove the comments. So to get to set that checkbox we go up here to screen options, click down, and we want to check the discussion checkbox, not the comments checkbox. We can raise this back up again. But now when we scroll down, there's this checkbox here and we can uncheck allow comments. Click update. And now when we view this page, we see that there's no comments down at the bottom. Uh, problem is, is we need to do that for every page. So to do it to all pages, let's go back to our dashboard, click on pages, and right here at the top of the list of pages, there's a checkbox next to title. Check that, and all the pages are selected. Then click down on bulk actions, click edit, and then apply. And over here, we've got all the pages selected. Uh, for template, there's no, if we were to change to a full width, if our theme had a full width page, we could select that here, make that universal. We're just going to do not allow comments and click update. And now when we go to our website, we see on, uh, there is no page that has a comment. So, uh, we are done with hard work.